IAS 8 somewhere. One place they are saying an accounting standard is IAS 8. Somewhere else the accounting standard has got this IFRS written before it. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So what is the difference between the two? So let's try to understand what is the international accounting standard and what is international financial reporting standard. So let's for that, let's just understand the history of how accounting standards came to be set or international accounting standards came to be set. So in June 73, the International Accounting Standards Committee was founded. And in March 2001, uh, this committee was restructured and the new IASB took over from the IASC. So this International Standards Committee was taken over by a body called as International Accounting Standards Board, which had the responsibility for setting international accounting standards. So the accounting standards that were published by the IASC, that is the accounting standards that were set from 1973 to 2001 had the nomenclature of IAS with a number that the prefix of your uh, accounting standard was IAS when it was set by the IASC. And when IASB started to set it, it started to use IFRS. So today we are having all these accounting standards these were the initial, the ones which is IS1 to IS41 with some numbers missing in between. These are the life standards today in IS, which is still there, still not changed. They are as it is. But when it came to the new standards that were set by ISB, they got this nomenclature of IFRS 1, 2, 3, 4 till 17. So when this IFRS 1, 2, 3, 4 till 17 was set, it replaced some of the old standards with the IS name with it. When it replaced, naturally IS went away and IFRS came into being. Like if you look at leases. Leases. Earlier we had an IS 17 year, which had leases. So when this came into being, this was dropped out. Like that. There are still accounting standards with IAS, which is still acceptable. And there is no uh, replica of it in IFRS. So on any topic, you will either find an IAS or an IFRS. Both will not be, not be there. If you find both, it will only be a period when there's a transitioning between an IAS to an IFRS. Because IAS would have been the old application and some refinements would have gone to the IFRS. So there would be some period of time when there's a transitioning from one to the other. At that point of time, you may find two accounting standards of, on the same topic, which is there in B. But generally, uh, at no point of time, you will find on the same topic an NDS as well as an IFRS. So both are the same, they just have different names. Okay. Now let's understand while drafting the IFRS, what were the features? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, uh, one question. Yes. Between yeah. IAS and IFRS, are there? Uh, uh, so is it either or, or will will we have IAS standards also and IFRS standards also mixed up? Uh, from an accounting point of view? Your syllabus is having IAS and IFRS. Okay. If I look at events after reporting period, it is only here. It is yeah. not here. Yeah. It is not here. So what I'm trying to tell you is that on one topic, either there will be a standard with IAS or a standard with IFRS. You can't have a standard on IAS and IFRS on the same topic. With some sure. exceptions of the period when there's transitioning. Yes, Devish, you are right. IFRS 4 and 17, both are insurance contract. IFRS 4 was first established. It was very, very basic. IFRS 17 is very recently come and it is going to get replaced with IFRS. From IFRS 4 to 17, it will happen in some. But they but, are two. But IFRS 4 is a very, very basic one. IFRS 17 has clarified a lot of things which were not there in IFRS 4. So that is one thing which has got repeated. But things that are there in IFRS 17 are not there in IFRS 4. And Mamki, is uh, the case same with the financial instruments as well? IFRS 7 and IAS 32. Okay. Now IFRS 7 is only 
डिस्क्लोजर डिस्क्लोजर एंड प्रेजेंटेशन या थर्टी टू इज प्रेजेंटेशन बेसिकली द डिस्क्लोजर पार्ट हैज गॉन देर नाउ द डिस्क्लोजर इज नो मोर देर इट्स ऑल गॉन देर ओके इवन आई फॉर एस नाइन दिस इज ऑन रेकग्निशन एंड मेजरमेंट दिस इज रेकग्निशन एंड मेजरमेंट ओके so uh, today i just uh, sorry ma'am uh, but yeah. as of now iasc is no more right yeah it is no more but the accounting standards that they set cannot go away no right now okay so they set up the accounting standard that doesn't mean that these will not be in prevalence so they they had set up but because the body is not there can i say ye nahi hai aisa nahi hai na Yeah, ah, so that so, is still there. It is just that when they changed so, names, so when a new I body came, they felt we have no IS name. Person, no, I have Faris name. We will keep. Maybe this will happen. I don't know. But it just it's a name and change in name. So don't bother. And the structure of setting up this was a little different from the way this was done. So they gave it with a new name. That's all.